Hey there, how you doing? I wanna walk you through this combination that I have behind me, which is a power burner that's inset into a power burner sleeve. You may be asking or you may be wondering, you know, why is the power burner sit lower than the countertop sits? And there's two reasons uh, that you would, you would wanna design it this way. First reason being, typically a lot of people get power burners because they're looking to do, you know, large seafood or, you know, crawfish boils or just boil large pots of water. Um, so really by dropping it down into the island, um, it allows you a more comfortable height so you don't have to get up on a step stool. If you're lifting a big heavy pot, it could be very dangerous to do that. So this just you know, gives you a more comfortable height to you know, lift those pots and take them off. The uh, second reason you'd wanna do this or you'd wanna have it inset into the island is because the power burner is an open flame. So you'll see, um, here, it's basically enclosed on three sides. And by enclosing it on three sides, it blocks a lot of the wind out so that it's not gonna blow the flame out while you're kind of you know, cooking or, or using the power burner in general. So that's kind of the, the functionality of the sleeve. The last thing you'll notice um, with the sleeve itself is there's a storage drawer that sits right below it. Um, so that, that can be used for any accessories that you have on the island, or there's different accessories, which we'll talk about for the power burner. So it's a very useful uh, place to be able to put those things. All right, I wanna talk about the power burner itself. A lot of you are probably familiar with what a side burner is, um, or some people call it a cooktop. Well, the power burner is very similar to a side burner in a lot of ways, but with a power burner, you're gonna get much more functionality and versatility with the way that you can cook. So I think to start with, with a power burner, you get much, a much wider range of temperatures. So you can bring things up to a high heat, um, you can bring them all the way down to a simmer. Um, and as I talked about before, you know, power burners have enough power to do large seafood boils or cook large pots of water that you wouldn't be able to do with a side burner. Um, the other cool thing about the power burner is you, it's almost like a multifunctional appliance because there's different accessories that you could purchase separate that would convert this power burner into, for example, there's a tapenaki uh, griddle accessory that you get add onto it where it literally converts this power burner into a griddle. So if you wanted to cook pancakes, breakfast, eggs, sausages, and things like that, you'd be able to do it all with this power burner. Um, the other thing that you can add is, is what's called a wok accessory. So the wok accessory, you can basically take out the kind of the inner ring and you can inset the, um, the wok itself in there. And it just gives you much more versatility in the way that you can cook on the appliance. So, if you're not very familiar with what a power burner is, I hope this is really helpful for you. Uh, it's really a you know, tremendously functional appliance that you can do a lot with. 